Danger Dolan. From yogurts filled with sugar-coated fruit chunks to the common belief that fat-free actually means anything, we count 15 food marketed as healthy when that simply isn't true. Number 15. Cereal. Most people on this earth always start their breakfast off with cereal, and even though most proclaim it's the best way to start your day, that isn't true. Now obviously, the sugary cereal aimed at kids is generally unhealthy, but even the healthy branded ones like Raisin Bran and Honey Flakes, they contain an equal amount of sugar since the manufacturers destroy the original vitamins and minerals to add their own preservatives. Even when you find a brand of cereal that retains as much of their original ingredients as possible, the reality is you're still much better off with whole foods for breakfast. Number 14. Multigrain and wheat bread. People generally know that white bread isn't the healthiest thing in the world, but fewer realize that the supposed healthy alternatives aren't even that much better. Whole wheat bread is good for you, but the ones you'll find on the shelf at your supermarket are hardly ever whole wheat. They're generally made of enriched flour, which are the same ones that have had their nutrients stripped during processing just like with white bread. Your risk of blood sugar problems, diabetes, and heart disease may rise unless you incorporate more whole grains in your diet, while also helping you maintain a healthy weight. Number 13. Reduced fat peanut butter. This is a classic marketing trick to pretend like there's a healthy alternative to a product considered fatty by removing the fat and replacing it with things that are just as unhealthy. If you get a topping with reduced fat, it just means they have added sugar and fillings to retain most of the taste while retaining all of the calories. Even though checking the dietary information on the back is a confusing, indecipherable mess, you are better off checking it to make sure you know what you're putting in your body than getting a slightly worse tasting product for absolutely no reason. Number 12. Muffins. Many consider these a nice bread-like snack, blueberry and bran flavored ones providing as much nutrition as fruit. In reality, muffins, no matter what style or flavor, are miniature cakes loaded with calorie, unhealthy fats, sugars, and the same nutritionless refined flour found in some supermarket bread. If you feel like buying muffins next time you're at the market, consider sharing one with a friend, or even make your own at home, but load them up with fresh, healthy ingredients. Number 11. Trail mix. Certain nuts and seeds are actually very good for you, and you can even get ones that include dark chocolate and dried apricots, still just as healthy, but trail mix is not that. Most supermarket versions come with candy pieces, yogurt chunks, and deep fried fruit pieces, all loaded with calories, sugars, trans fat, and refined carbs. From just a couple of handfuls of trail mix, you're getting almost a third of your daily calorie intake along with all kinds of salted nonsense. If you're looking for a quick snack, consider more basic nut and seed varieties. Number 10. Sport drinks. If it isn't already obvious, this product is aimed at athletes and Olympians, those who push their bodies beyond breaking point. It was never aimed at guys who do 5 sit-ups and call it a day. These drinks contain heavy salt and liquid sugar, and while they're generally considered slightly less unhealthy than soft drinks, there really isn't that much difference. Electrolytes will help you gain lost salts in your body, but most people don't need this. Something you should consider is, if you're sweating all the water from your body, maybe you should try drinking, I don't know, water! Number 9. Pre-made salads. It's amazing what some salads can get away with, to the point where they end up with more calories than the meatiest, heart-attack-inducing fast food hamburger on this planet. There are those that have some lettuce covered in ham, turkey, cheese, bacon, fried chicken, and drenched in mayo claiming itself to be a salad in the longest word-stretching technicality in the history of the earth. Most restaurants aren't really guilty of this if they prepare the salads fresh. And you can easily prepare a salad at home yourself, add in a little tasty meat without going crazy, and all the salads you feel like eating. Number 8. Fish. As unbelievable as it sounds, there are a couple of reasons fish contain all sorts of harmful toxins and actually have a slight risk of just ending your life flat out. Farmed fish, unlike those caught wild and fresh, are kept in horrifyingly bad conditions and prone to disease and parasites. Farmers combat this by pumping them full of antibiotics and chemicals, then feed them gluten, soy, and junk grain meals until they end up dead and on your plate. Fish also naturally contain mercury, known as one of the most toxic elements in the world, but luckily not a huge amount. Although if you're getting mercury from other methods, then you're gonna end up dead a lot faster. 
all because he could not get enough of those prawns. Number seven, fruit juice. This one is mixed because while it does contain some nutritious fruit vitamins, the amount of empty calories and sugar it does contain just outright destroys all the benefits. Even if you were to drink cans of coke day after day, you wouldn't be filling your body with anywhere near the amount of calories, carbs and grams of sugar found in fruit juice. Not even all natural preservative free juice can escape the downsides. Those ones make up for the lack of calories and sugar by loading it with high fructose corn syrup and additives. Number six. Pretzels. Now, not all pretzels are bad. You can actually get whole wheat ones that contain a good deal of fiber, especially when mixed with protein from cheese or peanut butter. Pretzels are better for you than potato chips, but don't be fooled. They don't give your body anything but empty calories, so no vitamins, fiber, minerals, or protein to speak of. And if you're eating salted pretzels, you might as well be injecting salt directly into your bloodstream. You get almost half your recommended daily intake from one small packet. Number five, an energy bar. Like with energy drinks, you're obviously only supposed to eat these if you're into heavy workouts, especially if they contain a huge amount of protein. But most energy bars are souped up candy bars. They contain an equal amount of calories, fats, sugar, and oil, just as bad for you. Energy bars are meant to be effectively meal replacements, so your body has something to draw on when it gets exhausted. So if you are planning to eat these, stick with ones that have a low sugar and carb reading, and make sure they pack on the protein for your workouts. Number four, margarine. Many don't understand the difference between butter and margarine, and since butter got a bad rap back in the day because of the high saturated fat content, most would stick with margarine these days. But here's a newsflash, margarine isn't real food. It's a Frankenstein creation of chemicals and oils made to look and taste like butter. Studies have shown you're more likely to get a heart attack from eating toast with margarine than you do with butter. Now, real butter, preferably grass-fed is the way to go, you just read the information on the back of the product and you make sure it isn't processed before you slop it onto your bread. Number three, dried fruit. This one sounds amazing because, well, it's fruit. Fruit is supposed to be healthy, but there's something very basic that should be understood. If you're gonna have a fresh product sit on the store shelf for weeks on end, you're gonna need to add something that will keep it from spoiling within days. Hence, preservatives, the most common item found in any supermarket and one of the worst for your body. Dried fruit is loaded with sugar and sulfur to keep them going so that they can sit there for hours and hours and days and weeks and months, which jacks up their calorie count to insane degrees. A few banana chips can give you over 100 calories all at once. Number two, Subway. We all remember the marketing campaigns, how they make the food right in front of you. That guy who lost a bajillion pounds by eating nothing but Subway. And to a degree, it is true. The food is fresher than most other fast food restaurants. But you have to understand, healthy food depends on your point of view. The meat that they have is processed. Everything is filled with preservatives. The sauces are riddled with sugar. The extras like cookies and soft drinks, essentially junk food bundled with the sandwiches. You might as well go to McDonald's and order a prepackaged salad alongside your Big Mac. That's pretty much what you're doing with Subway. Number one, fruit yogurt. Even low and fat free yogurts can't escape the reality that in order to retain anything resembling taste, it needs to be drenched in corn syrup, starch, and sugar. Some include artificial sweeteners, which if you're diabetic, might set you off and spike up your insulin. If you do get a yogurt though, and believe me, you could do much worse for a snack. Don't get ones with fruit chunks. They generally contain sugar and preservatives. Just add your own fresh fruit to a vanilla flavored yogurt. That's it for this countdown. And have a go!